Yo, it's Talib Kweli to BKMC, Rockable Hard Knock TV. All my Black Star fans make some noise right now. First question is, do you remember the first song or uh, rapper that inspired you to want to be an MC? The first rapper that inspired me was probably Dougie Fresh. When I was, when I was younger, people used to say I favored Dougie Fresh. And uh, Dougie Fresh was somebody who was very influential on New York hip hop in particular, hip hop in general, but New York hip hop in particular. He was a rapper who was respected in hip hop, but also had records on the radio. So he was like, he was kind of bigger than hip hop early. Do you remember like where you were when you heard that song? Well, you know, Dougie Fresh and Slick Rick had the show and Lottie Dottie. Those were big hip hop records that sort of left the world of hip hop and entered the pop realm. But those weren't the records that initially got me into hip hop. It was Dougie Fresh did a record on his album, uh, World's Greatest Entertainer. He had a record called Keep Rising to the Top, which was a, a sample of, um, of um, I think, the Gap Band. I'm not sure who made the original. but. That really drew me in. That was the first rap song that I kind of wanted to memorize. Fighting for freedom like the people in Tunisia spread through Sudan and Egypt. This the music for the movement. The score to your achievements. Never join them, so you gotta beat them. It's called the DMP. New album, Prisoner of uh, Consciousness. Yes, Prisoner of Conscious, new album. I'm very excited about it. I put out two, three, three songs off of it already. Um, Push Through featuring Kendrick and Currency. Uh, Outstanding featuring Ryan Leslie and Upper Echelon. And, um, and the next single is, is featuring Miguel, but most importantly, it's my album, and I hope people get it and enjoy it and all that. Can you tell us uh, what inspired that title? Prisoner Conscious? Um, I did an interview with some website a few years ago, and random, random things make it into your Wikipedia page, right? And so I, I sort of half-heartedly mentioned Prisoner Conscious would be a dope album title. And somehow that made it into my wiki page. So for years, lazy journalists would, you know what I'm saying? I could tell who went on my Wikipedia page because they'd be like, so your new album, Prisoner Conscious. I'm like, okay, he was on the, on the and But then there was so much interest in that title that I decided to create an album around that title. And so that's where Prisoner Conscious comes from. And it's not, this album is sort of, uh, uh, showing new fans and old fans that I exist in this world of music. Like people get caught up in the lyrics and love the lyrics, but I don't think they would pay attention to the lyrics if they weren't, if I wasn't making the right musical choices. So I try to put the music in the forefront for this album. Um, the theme for this album is love, emotions, relationships, um, and 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 the, an examination of my place in hip hop, trying to create industry around myself rather than follow the trends in the industry. I'm a professional. Till we continue. Let's see what that the world of you run up in you. Let me stop you. And a mental pick any mental and go in strong. Third down, Delta, extra, extra large. Like the girl from with the residential. Extra, central, list specialist. Like slime stone with my palms and blind so Part of love with Captain Lynn Green and I'm strong. Yeah, we got a rock too. Nothing else matters. Yeah. Soon as the director say I can do stuff. 
Watch out do, watch out do, watch out do, watch out do, get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up. Get. This ain't the time I play for you to move something. Say it loud, move something, move something. Speaking of industry trends, uh, MTV put out their top 10 hottest MC list or whatever. How do, how do you feel about stuff like that? Um, well, you know, MTV list is like, it's like, you know, it's like an algorithm almost. It's like, it's not the best lyricist. It's not the most respected. It's a popularity contest. And so whoever is the most popular is going to win. It's, it's hottest MC. It's not best MC. So this year, I think it was Kendrick was number one. Yeah. I think... It's rare when the best MC working right now aligns with the hottest MC. And I think this year, because Kendrick is so dope, that we get in like one of the best MCs in the business also being one of the hottest, most popular MCs. You know, it ain't always like that. Um, I know there was some controversy with like Kanye or like other people. Like when I hear the list, I'm like, where's Kali on the list? You know, do, do you well, again, it's not the best, it's the hottest. <laughs> right. Now, you know, you gotta survive, the key to, in this business is surviving whether you're cold or hot, no matter what. Whether I'm hot, whether I'm cold, I still work. Whether I'm hot, whether I'm cold, people respect me. If they make a best lyricist, or most respected list, and I'm not on it, then we got problems. Right. What about if you had to make that list, who, who would you put on there? The hottest? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I know there was some controversy over Nas being on the list. I definitely would have Nas on the list. I think he had never been on the list before, but if there was right. ever a year to put him on the list, it would be this. Um, I think Kanye, is higher than number seven, you know? Um, I think Drake is murdering it this year. I think he was on the list, num number four or something. But I mean, I, I think Kanye and Jay-Z, no matter whether people are tired of them or not, they still deserve higher places on that list. You know, I definitely think they're some of the hottest MCs out. You know, but we talking about hottest, I know there's certain dudes right now who you can't get a record on the radio with if you don't have these dudes on, on your song. And that, like French Montana, or 2 Chains or Rick Ross, or Lil Wayne, like, these dudes is real pop popular right now. So, you know, they deserve the love they get. You got it, Jay Dillon. Rest in peace, Jay Dillon. Rest in peace, Bob Tim. I'm gonna see if y'all real Dillon heads out here. Get him up, 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 get him up. Uh, when you're on stage, uh, you talked about uh, Dilla. You, you played a Dilla beat. Uh, do you have a Dilla memory that, uh, that, that that comes to mind? Uh, yeah, I got a lot of Dilla memories, but um, the best one is probably when I, you know, Dilla made me go to Detroit to work with him. It wasn't like emailing to send a track. Like I had to go to Detroit. I had to go hang out with Frank and Dick and and do the whole Detroit thing. And, and you know, while I was in Detroit. The Grammys was on, and Dilla was nominated for a few Grammys from working with Erica Badu and Common and the Roots. Excuse me. Pardon me. Um, and even though the Grammys was on, and he was nominated for some Grammys, he wasn't watching. He was downstairs making beats, you know, and he was that passionate. He avoided the spotlight so that he could be more pure about his art, and that's a wonderful thing. <laughs> 